Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you guys enjoy traveling? What do you guys believe is the best part of traveling? Feel free to blast the comment section with your opinions. There are times when we fall asleep during the journey. Because of this, we miss a lot, especially enjoying the scenery outside the vehicle. But hey, why are we talking about this, you might be wondering? Well, it's because of the difference between considering the two endpoints and considering the entire path, just like how distance and displacement are different. This is important for our session today. In this video, we'll talk about path and point functions. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's begin with the path function, a function whose values depend on the path followed by the thermodynamic process regardless of the initial and final states of the process is called a path function. The values of these functions depend only on how a specific thermodynamic condition is obtained. For path functions, different values can be obtained for reaching the same thermodynamic state. Wondering how? Well, this is because of different processes employed to achieve that particular state. Let's talk more about path functions using an example. Some examples of path functions are work done and heat. Both functions depend on the path followed by the process. We will use work done to understand path functions. In the PV diagram, we can see that the thermodynamic state of an object is changing from 1 to 2. This change is taking place with three separate processes, namely A, B and C. To determine the work done, the area under the PV diagram is calculated. Here, we can easily observe that the work done for each process process will be different due to the different paths each process follows. This is why work is considered a path function. Before we move on to point functions, we must know a few things about path functions. These functions are inexact or imperfect differentials. An imperfect differential is defined as a differential form dx for which there is no function x such that x equals integral of dx. Also, it must be noted that path functions are not a property of the system. Now, it's time for us to talk about point functions. Functions. Just as the name suggests, point functions are the functions that depend on the endpoints or the initial and final states of the thermodynamic process. Unlike path function, the values of point functions are completely independent of the path followed by the process. As a point function depends only on the initial and final states of the process, its cyclic integral is always zero. Also, point functions are always exact or perfect differentials. The examples of point function are density, enthalpy, internal energy, etc. We will talk about these terms in our upcoming videos. Unlike path functions, a point function is a property of the system. Conversely, all properties of a system are point functions. Well, it is time to conclude this session. In today's video, we discussed path and point functions. We'll be back with new content on thermodynamics very soon. If you like our content, don't forget to like this video. For staying updated with our new content, press subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button. This is Skill Link and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.